Today, I'm talking about being weird. And I mean weird in the best way possible. I mean hobbies, creativity, what you like to do, music, art, all of that. Let me explain. When I'm talking about being weird, I mean like creatively, your personality, all those things that may make people weird. We tend to see other people that we compare ourselves to in these genres and these things that we want to do. And we think that their way is the right way because they're successful, because they made it in that niche that they're in. But the reality of it is a lot of them just tend to be themselves and gain that following based on what they are like. Whether that's real or fake is one other thing, and you'll never know, really, unless you're very close to them. And even then, sometimes we don't know. But people are drawn to them because of what they're doing, because of what makes them them. And I think that we forget that as artists and as people. In my case, making music, I thought I had to follow a certain way to make it. But in reality, there's so many different avenues you can go with your niche. And I realized that making music, it might be weird and it might be something that people don't find right away. But when they do find it, they're like, oh, that's different. But I'm not changing anything about what I'm doing. I'm keeping it consistent, but I'm just doing what I would wanna do and not following the pop trends or the EDM trends or the lo-fi trends. You just take a little bit of all of it and create your own thing. In my case, well, that might be for a folk singer who loves to make folk but plays the ukulele. I don't know, but they're doing something different that fits them and it's what they have and it's what they want to do. Same with art mediums, you know, taking pictures. Some people might take pictures, but then some might do mixed media. Some might figure out that they can make art through code. They can make art through a different way. And it draws people in because it's something that they haven't seen before. Not saying that other people don't do it, but it makes it so you're joining a niche that people may not have tapped into that much or may not have known about. Now, you doing that different thing, that thing that might be weird to some who start out around you and may not have, not, may not have something to reference or have they seen before, other people see it and they realize how cool it is. So don't be afraid to be creative and don't be afraid to be weird because more often than not, you'll figure out that a lot more people want to see different stuff than they're used to. They want to see different art. They want to see different kind of movies, different kinds of editing. And yes, sometimes people like to see things that are relative to their current interests, but you may spark something that makes someone realize that that's an interest that they've never seen before and never knew that they could have. But then change the game up for them and they start finding stuff that they may not have ever found. So be weird, be creatively weird and be yourself. I'll see you tomorrow. You know, I only use these 10 seconds to put some cards at the end. The classic to tell you to subscribe. But I'm gonna do it. Subscribe.